Hello friends, today we would be doing the identification of iodide anion. Before beginning with the test, let's look at the solid salt first. The solid salt is white crystalline in nature. The concentrated sulfuric acid test involves adding concentrated sulfuric acid to the solid salt and placing a piece of starch iodide paper above the test tube. First we take some solid salt in the test tube. As we all know for concentrated sulfuric acid test we always use the solid salt. Don't take the aqueous solution. The second step is to add the concentrated sulfuric acid. And as I always say concentrated sulfuric acid is corrosive hence use a dropper while adding the acid into the test tube. Now we will be adding the acid to the test tube. Observe the reaction that is taking place. You can see that there is evolution of reddish brown gas along with there is also some crystallization that is some crystals are being formed on the walls of the test tube. You can see that in the inset video clearly. Now we heat the contents of the test tube. While heating the test tube, observe the formation of a violet colored gas in the test tube. Now place a piece of starch iodide paper above the mouth of the test tube. Starch iodide is prepared by mixing starch and potassium iodide solution. Observe the change in color of the paper. You can see that there is formation of a deep blue color. Concentrated sulfuric acid reacted with the iodide to form violet colored vapors of iodine along with other compounds like hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide. Iodine stains the starch blue. Other gases that are formed are hydrogen iodide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide and water vapor. Now we move on to the confirmatory test for iodide that is the organic layer test. The procedure for this test is same like that for bromide ions. First of all we take the aqueous solution of the salt. The next step is to add the organic solvent. The organic solvent I am using here is chloroform. If you don't have chloroform in your lab you can use carbon tetrachloride or carbon disulfide. On adding the chloroform you can see that it forms a separate layer. That means chloroform is not miscible with water and it is heavier than water and it forms a separate layer underneath the water because of the presence of heavy chloride atoms. You can see the two separate layers here. Now the next step is to add chlorine water into this. The preparation of chlorine water is explained in the previous video on identification of bromide ions. After adding the chlorine water, we will be shaking the test tube vigorously so that the chlorine will be reacting with the iodide. Now observe the change in color in the bottom layer of the test tube that is the organic layer. You can see that the color has turned to a purple color or rather a violet color. The chlorine reacted with the iodide to liberate iodine which combined covalently with the organic solvent same like bromide. The second confirmatory test, the silver nitrate test, is same like that for bromide where we take the aqueous solution, adding silver nitrate solution and then ammonium hydroxide solution. Step 1, taking the aqueous solution of the salt. The step 2 is to add the silver nitrate solution. On adding the silver nitrate solution, you can observe a pale yellow to white precipitate in the test tube. Now we will be adding excess of ammonium hydroxide and observe the test tube. You can see that even after adding the ammonium hydroxide there is no change in the precipitate. 
the precipitate formed was silver iodide which did not form any complex with ammonia unlike the chloride and bromide did sulfuric acid is corrosive avoid direct contact chloroform iron vapors sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide is toxic avoid inhalation of the vapors thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will be notified about my new videos